Hello, frugal friends. Welcome back to the channel. Now, today we're going to be focusing on Jeremiah 29, 11, okay? I'm going to read you some notes I wrote because I'm, I'm forgetful, so I don't want to forget what I was thinking about. Okay. One day when I was a girl, some of my friends asked me to play the game of life, the board game. I said, yes, it looked like fun. But halfway through the game, I had lost my house, my job. I had got divorced, got sick, didn't have health insurance. So I quit. Now, all my friends laughed at me and said, you can't quit life. <laughs> Growing up, I thought about that day often. And it kind of scared me, to be honest with you. I thought to myself, what was life going to be like? Was it going to be like this? And I was just going to give up and quit? The truth is, life can be hard. My, when my husband and I were younger, we had to work really hard just to make ends meet. We had job losses. We lost loved ones. And just recently, we were both diagnosed with cancer within months of each other and had no health insurance. But there was one big difference between the game of life and real life, and that's God. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are the head of our lives. None of the cards I pulled in that game said, pray, ask God to help you, ask God to give you wisdom and discernment, to be with us and guide us, to trust in God, lean not to our own understanding, or Jeremiah 29 and 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So God wasn't in the game, the board game of life, but he's with us in real life. Now, you may be going through a lot right now. Um, it may be hard for you, but I'm telling you from experience, stay in prayer, stay close to God, and just keep putting one foot in front of the other until you make it through to the other side. And when you look back, you'll be amazed how God got you through it because God is truly amazing. He's a miracle worker. And we have what? Hope and a future. Now, that's very important because we have to have hope. Like things may look hopeless right now, right? It may be bleak and you may say, I'm not going to make it through this. But yes, you are. With the help of the Lord, you can make it through it, okay? I don't care what it looks like. God can work it out. So stay in prayer. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. And you're going to make it through to the other side, okay? Well, thank you for joining me today. And as always, be blessed.